First, open the coloring page design in Silhouette Studio. I've got this saved on a folder in my hard drive, so I'll just drag and drop it onto my design page. It comes in huge. Don't worry about that. Select it and use the Scale option on the Quick Access toolbar to quickly reduce it to 33%. We can adjust the size more later. We want to trace it to create cut lines, so open the Trace panel. Choose Select Trace Area. Drag a selection box around the main design and choose Trace. Black and white images are very straightforward. If you're dealing with color, then you might need to adjust the threshold to fill more of your image with yellow before committing to the trace. We can drag away the original image. We don't need it anymore. I'll resize this now while it's all one piece. These masks work well somewhere between 7.5 to 8 inches wide. I'll go with 7.75 inches. I can quickly use the scale option again by making sure it's locked and then input 7.75 inches into the input box. Now we need to break this apart into layers. If I fill the whole thing now with a color, it still looks like a line drawing. We'll use the modify window to make our changes. First, break the single design full of voids into separate layers with release compound path. Now we need to think through this and get the separate layers with holes where they belong. Click off to the side to deselect everything. Some of these pieces are exactly as we need them with no further manipulation, but there are some that will need holes again. The base will be cut with black cardstock, but we need to use the inner eye pieces to cut holes to see through. Hold the shift key while clicking on the outer edge, plus the two inner eye ovals. Use the Alt key or Option on a Mac to click and drag away a copy of those selected pieces. Use your Undo button if you make any mistakes. Now click Subtract, and the ovals in front will cut a hole in the large piece in back. I'll turn that black and set it aside. That's the piece we'll cut from cardstock as the mask base. Some of these other pieces need no alteration. I'll select with Shift, then drag copies away with my Alt or Option key. We can recolor them now or later. The next piece that needs holes is the largest layer on the mask. Hold Shift and click the main piece and the two largest ovals so they can cut the necessary holes. Drag a copy away. Choose Subtract again in the Modify panel to cut holes in the back layer with the ovals that are in front. You can drag it over to see how it looks. Finally, we need rings from the last set of ovals. Zoom in and shift click on the two sets of inside ovals and drag copies away with the Alt or Option key once more. This time we'll just select one double set of ovals at a time to use the subtract function to make sure nothing more disappears than we need. These are our last two gold pieces and we're ready to start cutting. When I'm cutting small pieces of vinyl, I use my mat. Turn on your grid for assistance by hitting G on your keyboard. Now move everything off the cutting area and just place the pieces on there to cut one color at a time. These vinyl pieces are large enough that you don't need to keep them perfectly spaced and use transfer tape. Once everything's cut, the vinyl pieces can just be applied like stickers to the black cardstock base.